I paid $1,600 for this song, which seems like way too much. So the question is, can a $400 knockoff perform just as well? In the first test, we'll see which chainsaw makes the most torque. Then we'll see which chainsaw can cut through a test log the fastest. We'll see if Cousin Eddie can pull over this tree with the Farmabago. Finally, we'll see which chainsaw can make the quickest work of this large log. At a price of around $350 for just the power head or around $400 with the bar and chain is this Farmac brand. The Farmac is made in China. According to the manufacturer, all parts from this saw are compatible with the steel MS660. Having reviewed several knockoff saws, they typically have a lower quality air filter setup. However, the Farmax is actually pretty decent, and the lever for engaging the choke is extremely stiff and clunky. There is a small amount of assembly that's required, including the felling spikes as well as the handle. The Farmac claims to be a real beast with a maximum RPM of 13,300. And the quality of the chainsaw cover is actually pretty good, it's made of cast aluminum. Unfortunately, the Farmac did not come with assembly instructions. However, it's set up just like the steel, so I'll use the steel for reference. Just like the steel, the Farmac comes with two felling spikes, and one of the spikes mounts to the chainsaw cover and the other mounts to the saw. The manufacturer claims that the 36 inch bar with this chainsaw is 20% lighter than the same alloy guide bar. To give the saws a fair review, I went ahead and bought an extra steel bar and chain. And the chainsaw bars look very close to the same and should be interchangeable. And a Farmac bar weighs 2,284 grams or just over 5 pounds. And the steel bar is a little bit heavier at 2,302 grams or just over 5 pounds. The genuine steel and the Farmac chains are the same at 3 inch pitch, 0.63 gauge, and 114 lengths. The steel chain is on the bottom and the Farmac chain is on the top. The Farmac chain looks like it's a full chisel and the steel looks a lot more rounded and appears to be a semi-chisel. And the genuine steel chain weighs 566 grams or 1.25 pounds. And the Farmac chain weighs exactly the same at 566 grams or 1.25 pounds. And the bar and chain on the Farmac is ready for action. And the Farmac with the 36 inch bar chain weighs 24.72 pounds. I just filled the fuel tank with fuel. So let's see how easy it is to start the saw for the first time. With the choking gauge, it started to come to life on the fourth pull. The carburetor is now in the run position. And the Farmac should be getting plenty of fuel. And the Farmac is up and running after a total of nine pulls on the starting rope. At a price of $1,640 is this steel Magnum MS661. The steel chainsaw came pre-assembled. Just like the Farmac saw, the steel has a 91.1cc engine. The steel is rated for just over 7 horsepower. The starting grip has a built-in shock absorber that helps reduce effort when pulling the starter cord. The steel is made in Germany. And the steel with a 36-inch barn chain is a little bit lighter at just over 23 pounds. The steel definitely has a better air filter setup. The filter element itself is going to outperform the foam filter and it's a better seal against the engine. The sprockets are the same size and the bar mounting bolts look identical. I'll try using the steel bar and chain on the Farmac later in the video. And I just fueled up the steel and it's ready for the first start. With the choking gauge, the steel isn't too motivated to fire up. And the steel is finally showing signs of life on the fifth attempt. And it took a total of six pulls on the starter rope to get the steel running. Let's see how much arm strength is required to start both saws using a push-pull meter. Both saws have a compression release and I'll go ahead and release the compression. For a 91cc saw, the Farmac doesn't require too much arm strength to fire up the saw, and it's 15.5 kilograms or about 34.2 pounds of peak force. I released the compression on the steel, and the steel saw definitely takes more arm strength to get going. And it's 19.5 kilograms or about 43 pounds for the steel. If you have to run these saws any period of time, a lot of vibration can really cause some problems. With the vibration sensor on the front handle, the Farmac is shaking and baking at around 62 to 65 millimeters per second squared. And there's a lot less vibration with the steel at around 39 to 46 millimeters per second squared. It's a pretty noticeable difference. Let's compare the sprocket speed for each saw. At wide open throttle, the Farmac is around 9,850 RPM. At wide open throttle, the steel is a lot more motivated and topped out at just over 13,400 RPM. Let's go ahead and compare the noise level of each saw. If you're running the Farmac, it's definitely a good idea to use some hearing protection. 117 decibels is pretty loud. And the steel is even louder than the Farmac. 120.6 decibels. Wow, that's a lot of noise. So both saws claim to make 7 horsepower. Let's put them to the test cutting through a test log that's made of 9 4x4s. And the Farmac is running like a saw that has about 4 horsepower and is bogging down way too easily. Unfortunately, I stalled the saw twice on the first pass. The chain seems to be grabbing the wood more than it's cutting. And the Farmac can definitely do a lot better than 15.17 seconds. So let's try this again. And the Farmac is making a lot faster progress this time. I'm trying to push the saw as hard as I can without stalling it. And the Farmac is a lot faster this time at 11.61 seconds. I'll see if I can make even faster time on the third cut. And the Farmac just seems to be really underpowered for a 91cc saw and it's really struggling. And the Farmac is making very good progress this time, but unfortunately I pushed the saw a little too hard. And 13.77 seconds is the second fastest cut. And the steel is all fired up and ready to go. And I pushed the steel a little too hard on the first cut and it stalled the saw. However, 6.81 seconds is very impressive. And I found a sweet spot with the steel and I made the second cut without stalling the saw in 5.98 seconds. Very impressive.
And I pushed the saw a little harder on the third and final cut and the saw made the fastest time of the three in 5.88 seconds. Very impressive. I just installed a brand new steel bar and chain on the Farmac. It's the same bar and chain that's on the steel saw. And the Farmac is definitely running way too rich and bogs down way too easily. However, it is the factory tune. And the Farmac made the first cut in 13.36 seconds after stalling the saw one time. I won't push the saw quite as hard this time. And the Farmac is making a lot better progress with the steel bar and chain. However, the saw is still cutting a lot slower than the steel. And 9.75 seconds is about 2 seconds faster than using the Farmac bar and chain. I'll go ahead and try pushing the saw a little bit harder on the third attempt. And the Farmac just seems to be really underpowered for a 91cc saw and it's really struggling. Unfortunately, I did push the saw a little too hard and stalled the saw. And the Farmac made the third cut in 12.44 seconds. Let's see how fast my favorite chainsaw can make the cut. And the MS250 has an engine that's about half the size of the larger two saws. And the steel MS250 is almost as fast as the Farmac on the first attempt at 11.2 seconds. I'll go ahead and push the MS250 a little harder this time. For a small saw, it packs a powerful punch. And the little MS250 makes an incredible amount of torque and chain speed for a small saw. 10.42 seconds, very impressive. I'll make one more attempt to see if I can get the steel to cut just as fast as the Farmac. Unfortunately, I pushed the little saw a little too hard and it stalled out just before finishing the cut. And it's 11.61 seconds on the third and final attempt. I leaned out the carburetor on the Farmac just a little, but it's still rich enough to avoid causing engine damage. And the carburetor adjustment really woke up the saw. And the Farmac just finished the first cut in 6.24 seconds. Very impressive! And I pushed the Farmac a little harder on the second cut, but it didn't help. 6.39 seconds is still very good. And I pushed the Farmac just a little too hard and I stalled the saw on the third attempt. And it's 8.05 seconds, which is still pretty good considering the chain did come to a stop during the test. So just taking the fastest cut for each saw, the steel's fastest cut was 5.88 seconds. However, after adjusting the carburetor and installing a steel bar and chain, the Farmac is almost as fast at 6.24 seconds. Before we saw down a really large tree, let's first compare the saws on a chainsaw dyno that I put together. The steel plate weighs 10 pounds and a chainsaw dyno is showing right at 10 pounds. The saws are fully warmed up and ready to go. And it takes 60 pounds of downward force to stall the Farmac. The saw did even better on the second attempt at 63 pounds. And the third and final attempt is the best of the three for the Farmac at 65 pounds. And the steel definitely seems to make more torque, but that's pretty subjective. And it's 70 pounds or 5 pounds more than the Farmac on the first attempt. And the steel did even better on the second attempt at 71 pounds. And the third attempt is by far the best of the three at 77 pounds. Very impressive! So just looking at the best of three for each brand, the steel took about 12 pounds more downward force to stall the saw compared to the Farmac. A few weeks ago, Cousin Eddie got the Farmabago stuck in the pond. And now he's wanting to redeem himself by showing me that an off-road recovery rope is a proper way of taking down a tree. The recovery rope is attached to the back of the Farmabago, and he says the old Farmabago has more than enough gusto for the job. No need to attach the rope towards the top of the tree, it has plenty of torque. He's attached two ropes together to double his distance for the tree. Cousin Eddie has the Farmabago fired up and ready for action. Straight pipes and dual exhaust, the Farmabago sounds fantastic. And the Farmabago just didn't gain enough speed on the first attempt. So we'll give the Farmabago a little more distance to gain speed on the second attempt. And the Farmabago has a lot more momentum on the second run and the tree isn't budging. Cousin Eddie says to cut about halfway through the tree trunk and give it another try. The rope has been moved up the tree to gain some leverage. And Cousin Eddie's going to remove the slack from the rope and he'll apply some load on the rope to keep the tree from falling towards me or the fence during the cut. And the steel chainsaw is making very quick work of cutting through the tree. I've cut about halfway through the tree trunk and I don't know how rotten the tree trunk is. So I'll go ahead and see if I can pull the tree on over. And the Farmabago gave it a really strong pull but the tree trunk is still pretty strong. However, a very large branch did fall out of the tree. I'll go ahead and cut a little bit more and we'll attempt to pull it over with the Farmabago once again. And the rope has some tension on it to keep the tree from falling towards me or the fence. Unfortunately, I cut a little too far and the tree came down without giving the Farmabago a chance to pull the tree on over. The tree has a diameter of around 33 inches or so. Let's go ahead and see how quickly each of the saws can cut through the large diameter log. I'll use the Farmac first and I'll cut a little bit higher up on the trunk to find a more uniform part of the tree. And the Farmac made the first cut in 42.3 seconds, which is actually a pretty impressive cutting speed when you consider the size of the log. Let's go ahead and make the next cut with the steel saw. And the steel saw seems to hold a higher chain speed under load and also seems to have more torque. And the steel chainsaw is even faster than the Farmac at 35.9 seconds. Very impressive. That's almost 18% faster than the Farmac. Let's go ahead and test the Farmac once again. 
And the Farmac is once again making very quick work of the log. I can definitely say that there's more vibration with the Farmac compared to the steel chainsaw. However, it's really not all that bad considering the size of the saw. And the Farmac just finished the second cut in 41.79 seconds or about a half a second faster this time. Let's go ahead and make another cut with the steel. And the steel is noticeably faster than the Farmac once again. And a massive amount of wood chips are just spraying out of the underside of the chainsaw. And the steel is finished in 35.95 seconds this time compared to 35.9 seconds last time. Can't get much closer than that. And the third and final cut for the Farmac is once again going very well. And I pushed the saw a little too hard and the chain came to a stop twice during the cut. And that really slowed the chainsaw down quite a bit. 47.6 seconds is the slowest cut of the three. And it's the third and final cut for the steel chainsaw. Just like the Farmac, I tried pushing the steel a little bit harder than the previous cuts and the chain came to a stop during the cut. And 38.95 seconds is the slowest cut of the three. So taking the average of three cuts, the steel cut through the log in 36.9 seconds and the Farmac needed 43.7. So on average, the steel was about 18% faster. Unfortunately, Cousin Eddie did not get to pull the tree over. However, he is looking for a good sized log for his campfire and he thinks this log is the perfect size. And this log weighs as much as a small car and the Farmabego is really working hard to drag the log as it's plowing a path. And the log has finally stopped the Farmabego, but Cousin Eddie is not finished. With a little bit of a running start, the log is moving once again. So is the Farmac as good as the steel? Absolutely not. However, when you consider the price of four to $500 and the performance, it's a tremendous value and I would not hesitate to buy the saw. All the videos in this channel include this one, our viewers suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.